Right, the next race is the Tim Maloney Handicap Chase over 3 miles, 4 furlongs. Or 5 yards and up, 0 to 120. Trainer Attitude, Davy Robertson, Weeby Clarity, Martin Needham, Finding Alice, Martin Needham, Barbie Can Grove, Stu Gray, Timeland Vale, Graham Clutterbuck, Glenn Fire, Fred Lott, Alex Cherry, Wisdom, Alex Cherry, and Mr. Wiseman, Stu Gray. Those are the 8 horses, yeah? In the 3 mile 4 handicap. And away they go. On the outside is Wisdom, who's the leader from on his, the Graves on his inside, Tarman and Vale. Then comes Barbican and Grove for Stu Gray. On the rail, we have Trend Attitude for Davy Robertson. Just behind it, the second Orange Terry Horse, which is Grenfly Fred Lot. They're going to crawl, yeah. No pace on whatsoever. Finding Alice is on the outside of Mr. Wiseman and Weeby Clary. is six wide in a field that you could throw a blanket over. There's number two names first to last as Wisdom Alex Cherry leads from the Grey Horse Tarman and Vale in second. Out wide Weeby Clarity and Tarman and Vale is about seven in the line there. The mistake by Tarman and Vale has dropped into the back of the field after being second. And it's Wisdom who leads from Trend Attitude in second. On the outside of Trend Attitude is Barbican Grove with Glenfire Fred Lott on the outside of that. Then the second Stu Grey Horse, Mr. Wiseman, is just on the inside of Finding Alice. Uh, behind that is Weeby Clarity in the back of the field, Tarman Vale for Graham Clutterbuck as Wisdom takes him along for Alex Cherry. So the orange cap, orange sleeves and the Scotland body of Alex Cherry's Wisdom passes the Woody Post for the first time. There's still got two circles to go here from Glen Fry Fred, the stable companion who's on the outside of Barbican Grove. Up on the rail is Trend Attitude for Davy Robertson and still this Weeby Clarity and finally Alice are travelling wide for Martin Needham, um, giving up a lot of ground on the turn. In on the inside of that is Mr. Wiseman for Stu Gray and on the rail the Grey Horse, Tarman Vale for Graham Clutterback. It's Wisdom Elites from Trend Attitude in second. Barbie can grow just behind that. Then comes Glenfar Fredlot for Alex Cherry. The Tarman Vale, the grey horse, is on the inside. The second of the greys is the Martin Needham horse. That's we that's uh, finding Alice, Weeby Clarity on the outside. Just ahead of them is Mr. Wiseman for Stu Gray. But there's still only about five minutes first to last year. There's not been much pace in this race. And Wisdom leads from Trend Attitude in second. Back in third, Barbie can grow. Slow jump by Wisdom. Another mistake by Tarman Vale. Uh, on the outside, Barbie can grow has been joined by Mr. Wiseman. In between those two is Glenfire Fredlot. Then the grey horse finding Alice for Martin Needham. On the outside of finding Alice is a wide travelling Weeby Clarity. He's gone uh, much the further journey in this race. And time and avail on the great rail for Graham Clutterbuck. So if Wisdom is company, been joined by Trend Attitude and Mr. Wiseman. Beyond that is Barbican and Grove, the second of the Stu Grey horses. Glenfire Fredlot just on that one's outside. The wide travelling pair of Martin Needham's uh, Weeby Clarity and finding Alice. Alice. On the rail, going the shortest route is Tarman and Vale, but his jumping hasn't been that great. And Wisdom leads for Alex Cherry from Train Attitude in second for Davy Robertson. Five in the line behind that, and jumping up into third now is Weeby Clarity. It's actually past Train Attitude, has gone into second. On the outside of Train Attitude is Mr. Wiseman. Finally, Alice is still wide. Behind that is Barbican Grove. The grey horse on the inside is. Um, Tarman and Vale, and in the back of the field is Glenfire Fredlot. So Wisdom leads, and Weeby Clarity has finally moved up to the inside after going wide for most of the first circuit. On the outside of Weeby Clarity is Train Energy, who's a jumper next, and finally Alice and Wisdom has gone about uh, five lengths clear now of Train Energy and Weeby Clarity. Three lengths back to Barbican Grove on the outside of Tarman and Vale. Then comes Finding Alice, who's still travelling wide of Glenfire Fredlot, and on the back of the field we have Mr. Wiseman. So Wisdom, six lengths clear of Trend Attitude and Weeby Clarity in second and third. Then comes in fourth, Tarman and Bell. Bobby can grow and he's in fifth. In sixth is Mr. Wiseman. And behind that is Finding Alice the Grey, Glenn Farfred on the back of the field. They're all still standing, yeah? In the Tim Maloney handicap chase. And it's Wisdom who's four lengths clear of Weeby Clarity in second for Martin Needham. Davy Robertson in third with Tren Attitude. Two lengths back to Graham Clutterbuck's Tarman and Vale is on the inside of Barbican Grove. Mr. Wiseman is just on the inside of Glenfire Fred Lord who passes Mr. Wiseman. Tarman and Vale dropping back at the back of the field, still patiently ridden his finding Alice, but he's gone the long route finding Alice. Gone four wide most of the journey. As they're about to set off on their final circuit, and as Wisdom leads from Trend Attitude in second, Weeby Clarity back in third for Martin Edium, two lengths back to Barbican Grove in fourth, stable companion Mr. Wiseman on the inside of Tarman Vale for Graham Clutterbuck, Glenn Far Fredlot, stable companion of the leader back in seventh, and back of the field still this finding Alice, who's still going a wide passage for Martin Edium. 
So wisdom, not so far clear now. Uh, train attitude only about a length of drift. Weeby Clarity back in third. Then the two Stu Grey horses, Bobby and Grove and Mr. Wiseman, as they jump the next. Tomlin Vale. Jumping has started to improve for Tomlin Vale. Finally, Alice is on the outside of Glenfire Fredlot. But it's eight lengths first to last year, with just over a mile left to travel, and it's Wisdom the leader. From a train attitude in second, as they jump the next. Most of it got over to K. Bobby can Grove is sneak. Is sneaking closer back in third. Weeby Clarity has been passed by a few, and Mr. Wise been going up on that one's outside. Tomlin Vale has been switched out by the jockey. He's uh, in sixth place. Then comes Finding Alice, still going this wide passage, and jumps it slowly, and Glen Fred out at the back of the field. So Wisdom the leader for Alex Cherry from Trend Attitude in second. Barbican Grove travelling well back in third. Tomlin Vale. After a lot of slow jumps early on, has he jumping has improved as the race has gone on, has moved up into fourth. They're followed by Mr. Wiseman on the outside of a fading Weeby Clarity, who's dropped back into sixth. Then comes Finding Alice in the back of the field, some patiently ready Glenfire Fredlot. So the jumper next, and now we have a new leader as Trend Attitude jumps to the front for Davy Robertson from a strong travelling team, Barbican Grove, back in second. Out wide, making a forward new now is Finding Alice, but I wonder if all that wide travelling is going to tell later on in the race. It's Trend Attitude leads now from a strong travelling, Barbican Grove in second. The long time leader, Wisdom, is on the inside, back in third. Then comes Tarman Vale with Finding Alice uh, still five wide. And trying to run on from the back of the field is Glen Fire Fred Lord as they jump the next. And now coming to the front is Barbican Grove has travelled well most of the race so he hits the front for Stu Gray and it's Barbican Grove who goes to the front from Trent Attitude in second Tomlin Vale back in third it's Barbican Grove as they jump the next for Stu Gray from Trent Attitude and Tomlin Vale finding Alice uh, that wire trimming is taken in his effect is starting to drop away then comes Glenfire Fredlot and Wisdom but it's uh, Barbican Grove has travelled well most of the race for Stu Gray starts to draw clear from Tomlin Vale and Trent Attitude out wide is Glenfire Fredlot it's Barbican Grove from Tomlin Vale finding Alice is trying to rally with Glen Fred or Dart Wine, but Bobby Can Grove is well clear of Tom Trent Attitude and uh, Tomlin Vale. Glen Fred is running on strongly, might get second, but it's only one horse in this race at this stage, and Bobby Can Grove is well clear. Bobby Can Grove well clear for Stu Gray, running on strongly at the end. It's going to win very comfortably indeed from Glen Fred Lord in second, very close for the Mighty Money Water Horses for third, but it's uh, Bobby Can Grove who wins from Glenfire Fredlot in second. I think Mr. Wiseman might actually have got third for Stu Gray. A 1-3 for Stu Gray in this race. Bobby can grow, travel strongly and jumps a lot better than most of his uh, fellow horses. So Bobby can grow for Stu Gray wins from Glenfire Fredlot in second. Mr. Wiseman third for Stu Gray. Alex Cherry is back in fourth. Though, so a second and fourth for Alex Cherry and Martin Lee. And finally Alice who went a wide path the whole race and that probably cost his chances or her chances.